Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. This week we're going to jump straight over to the soldering bench. Alright, I figured I'd better start get to soldering on these beads um, since we got them all dapped and ready to go. This is the part that even though I think this is the most satisfying thing that I make, it's the one that I really got to psych myself up for. So today it's like, deep breath, let's do this. <laughs> so I won't do too much filming of this since I do have other videos, but we'll just do a quick glance at how I solder and set them up because that is the most time consuming part about bead making is uh, just getting those solder chips placed and balanced on that lip and then stacking them. So let's do it. One of the things that I did um, switch up a little bit when I was soldering, after I did about two dozen, was instead of placing the chips of solder inside of the little halves, I started just um, melting the solder chips off to the side and grabbing them with my solder pick and then heating up the half and then touching that in. So it almost just melted right away to the inside of the disc. That seemed to really speed things up. So, I was shocked how much I've gotten done in the last couple of days with these beads. So, practice makes perfect. <laughs> so, I have everything soldered, and I went around the seams with this little sandpaper roll. Just kind of smooth it up, because they don't always line up perfectly. There might be a little bit of an overhang of one half to the other, so I just kind of smooth that up and then I like to buff them with this uh, little scrubby pad just like that kind of brushed surface so let's pour them all out <laughs> there we go so I've got three sizes here which is I've never done that before I'm liking the way this looks. And there are 82 beads. Oops. So let me line them up for you so you can see how it'll look when it's, or somewhat know what it looks like when it's put together. I probably need to make about 18 more, I figure. I want some more of these larger beads in the front. And then I just need a couple more smaller ones in the back. I'll need two more blossoms. I think that'll be it. And then that's the top of the pendant, the turquoise. And again, that shape will be mimicked on top of each blossom. Ah, that's, that feels pretty good, just seeing all of that <laughs> laid out right now. And I figure that's about 10 hours of labor in making the beads so far. But like I said, I feel like this is the most satisfying thing that I make, are these beads. So that makes me feel good having this much of the uh, squash blossom done. Because that is the most time consuming. So hopefully in another week I can get to the uh, Thunderbird. I think that's going to be really cool. So just a little quick update this week, and I'll see you guys next Tuesday. I couldn't stand it. I had to go grab the Thunderbird pieces that I have so far <laughs> and set it up. Um, and actually, uh, I think I had mentioned before, I don't typically uh, do my strands with beads all the way back. A lot of times I'll go about three quarters of the way up and then switch to a handmade chain. But since the bead making went so smoothly this week, and I ended up with more than I thought at this point, I'm going to go ahead and do the beads all the way to the back. So, And I had a couple of um, 
blossoms last week that I didn't really care for the petals so I just cut those off and that'll end up being the little caps at the end next to the clasp. So that worked out. So really excited so far about this piece. But I do need to start thinking about other Thunderbird pieces that would look cohesive with this um, for the show. And if you're coming in to this little series at this point, this is a piece that I'm preparing for a show that I'm in in July. Um, and I kind of wanted a lot of it to be Thunderbird themed and lightning bolts actually. So I really got to get on to some other Thunderbird pieces too. So I'm so glad everything went smoothly this week because that really made me feel like I'm back on track for what I need to get done. But just had to pop in again and show it with the little Thunderbird so far. See you next week.